Oh, that's a fish. 100K, baby. We did it. Oh my goodness, what is that? Hey, welcome to another episode, guys. I'm way up in the mountains. As you can see, we're, we're in the middle of the clouds right now. We're heading to some beautiful, beautiful lakes, and uh, we're gonna do some fishing together, some camping, just have a little fun. There's just wildflowers everywhere. I'm in the middle of a giant scree field. As you guys can see, in the winter time, this is where there's big avalanche fields. I've been so excited to take you guys up here on some mountain adventures, just because this is like literally one of the most beautiful places in the world. So I can't wait to get up there. The only water I brought with me is what I've got on my, my chest right here. Uh, but that's okay, we got a filter and iodine tablet. And then for food, we're gonna try and catch fish. We got worms, we got lures, we got the bullet lure, baby. We gotta, that'll be a challenge here. We got on this trip, catch one on the bullet lure. But man, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> uh, several people spotted a mountain lion with two cubs. So we're gonna have to watch out just a little bit, be aware of it and um, you know, make some noise. We made it to the lake, baby. <laughs> Look at this beautiful gem behind me here. I, oh, there's a fly. Oh, there's some flies on the lens. I kind of, kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right, right, right there, that little point right there, I kind of want to go out there and make just a couple little test casts, just a little, you know, just some little ones. Uh, maybe throw a bullet lure out there. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Hello, magical flower in the woods. Nice to meet you. There we go. This looks like a good fishing rock, right? The water's super clear. It's probably about six feet deep, 10 feet out. So that's already, there could be trout right in front of me. Now this fly uh, fishing kit right here, I actually have my spinning pole and my fly pole in there. So, oh, there's the little, little reel. Look at that, two reels fit in, two poles. We're definitely gonna do some fly fishing too, but uh, since I'm not as proficient at that yet, uh, we're gonna start with the spinning setup. <laughs> the rod here is an Okuma Salilo Ultralight. It's a five foot two piece, making it small enough to where I can fit it into small little pole cases like that. And then the reel is a Casking Summer 500. Uh, these little Casking reels are really, really good. Um, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I kinda wanna keep it that way because that way I can just tell you guys what I like and what works for me. We're gonna start things off right. We're gonna start with a bullet lure. That's right. It's gonna happen on the bullet lure, baby. <laughs> Fly went into my eye. If you're still brand new to the channel, then yeah, these little guys, I make these myself. I actually did a video on how I make these. I just think they look cool, you know? You need to be a sexy lure. All right, here we go. Improved clinch knot. We got 20 pound uh, braided main line down to a little swivel, down to a four pound leader. That's probably about two feet long, and then I've got the bullet lure on there, baby. So while I was setting up, a trout did just surface, literally right over there where I'm pointing. So I'm gonna start making some casts over into that little, it's almost like a bay. The fog is actually clearing up a little bit here. Check this out. It's where you guys are sitting on the camera right there. And then you can actually see the other end of the lake. Now we're gonna cast right over where that fish was. Oh yeah, right up against the shallow. So we're gonna start reeling right away. Don't wanna get stuck on anything. Oh, we had to follow, 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 100%, 100%, good sized trout. 
probably about that big followed it. Mm, man, was I too slow? Too fast? Not sure. Either way, we're going to give him a second chance. Come on, baby. I'm going to go through really slow. Now we'll try going through fast. Come on. Let's give him something to chase. Oh, man, so close. All right, guys, this is where we're going to set up camp. The fishes aren't biting, so I figured I would just use this time to set up the tent real quick, get camp set up, make sure that everything is just ready to roll for tonight, and then we'll keep fishing and get us our dinner, which I'm like, I, I really could use some dinner right now, guys. I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Check it out. She is all set up. Not too shabby. All right, this here is my mattress for the night. But this thing here, like, literally blows up in, like, less than 10 blows. I think. Let's try it out. One. Was at seven blows and this thing is already inflated. I like a firm mattress. So I think what I'm just gonna do here while uh, we set up the rest of camp is I'm just gonna cast out this bobber rod. And we're fishing. How are we gonna like spend the rest of the evening? How are we gonna catch a fish, guys? Found just a little bit of trash at the campsite. Looks like someone's old, uh, like a tent bag tie or something. So we'll pack it out. Just remember guys, if you guys are in the woods, just pack out more than you brought in and then you did good. For dinner, what we're gonna have is lemon pepper tuna with <laughs> crackers. That's the, the fine kitchen of the US military providing these beautiful, beautiful crackers right here. Oh, yeah. Not that bad when you're really hungry, actually. It's kind of satisfying. All of the fine young men and women in the military deserve better crackers than what's in those little MRE bags. A little bit of that on the cracker just to make it more exciting. Mm. And now we're talking. It's all it needed. So I've just got the worm dangling down there and I thought we would lure over some crawdads and sure enough there is a crawdad munching on it down there. Oh, we got him. We got us a crawdad, guys. <laughs> it might be dark, the fish might not be biting, but fishing ain't over, boys and girls. So I've never eaten crawdad before, guys. Oh, he got him in the net. Got him with the net, yes. This is, this is a game changer. <laughs> oh, he got me. <laughs> got him. Oh, he got him. Oh my goodness, he is scary big. Really big. There we go. There we go. Look at that monster. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh my goodness, it's a giant version of those big salamander things. What the heck is this thing? It's giant, it's like a foot long. He's really big and he keeps trying to get to my crawdads. All right, so I moved my crawdads, but guess who's back? Mr. Weirdo, creeper dude down there wants to eat my crawdads. Unbelievable. <laughs> he keeps snapping at my crawdads. 
<laughs> okay, it's become painfully obvious that our new friend needs a meal badly, so we are going to provide him one. I wonder if we can like hand feed him. Is he gonna take it? Oh, he took it. Oh, he took it. <laughs> we just hand fed this weird creature. You are so more than welcome, buddy. You are like welcome at my campsite anytime. Well, our buddy down there definitely has an appetite for our crawdads, so <laughs> that's just so cool. I mean, I, what a freaking weird mystery creature. Those things are so elusive. I've never really seen those in real life. I've only read about them in books and like seen them online, like pictures of them, but seeing that in real life, that's just crazy. I didn't even know we had those things here. I want to pet him so badly, but I, I just, I, we shouldn't. That's such a special creature. Sorry, bud. These are mine. <laughs> Look at that haul. It's a lot of crawdads. I'm zipped up in my sleeping bag now. I'm going to get a little bit of sleep because we got a lot more fishing to do tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, slept well last night. That was good. It was a little cold, so I had to throw in a couple extra layers. And, um ready to make some coffee and get out there and catch something. Oh man, our big goofy looking friend from last night is gone. So I guess they're nocturnal. They don't hang out in the daytime. That was so cool. And here we have some Quaker apple cinnamon oatmeal. Very exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, breakfast is served. Never lick your plates. And if you do, don't get caught by your parents. Come here, little buddy. Hey, come here. Guys, look at this. We have a little friend. Hey, do you want to come here and say hi? Come here and say hi. Hey there, how's it going? He thinks I have food. Come here. <laughs> He's beautiful. These little guys, I think they're called camp robbers. Whoa. There we go, our bobber pole is ready to go. Now we're gonna do a little fly fishing to double our chances of getting something. So here's the fly that we're using. It's kind of a black pattern mid-size fly and it's actually tied by one of you guys steve thank you so much dude for uh, tying me up those flies still waiting to catch a big old trout on them but we'll make it happen man Starting to get a little better at the whole casting thing. So thank all of you guys for uh, giving me all the advice on how I can improve. I'm sure there's still plenty of room for improvement, but we're, we're getting there. All right, so we haven't caught anything yet here, so we're gonna head down to a new lake. There's one about a mile and a quarter away from here. Either way, let's go ahead and wrap it up here because we gotta catch something. Look at that crazy rock. Jeez. And literally there's like a freaking cave in here. So that's probably where the, the bears and the cougars are. <laughs> Thank you. 
So it says uh, toilet this way. Let's find out what a toilet in the mountains looks like. Very curious about this mountain toilet. Holy cow, it has a view though. I will set down my fishing pole out of respect for this toilet. <laughs> Look at this beautiful, beautiful lake. I saw a fish jump over there, so that's where we're going. Oh man, look at how beautiful this is. Jeez. All right, little bullet lure, you and me, let's do this. Put some human scent on there. There we go, majestic first cast. Man, it's so cool, there's a bunch of little islands out here in this lake. It is so beautiful. Now this one unfortunately is not very heavy, so I can't cast it very far. So I've got to hope that there's a trout literally within like a 30 foot casting distance. Oh, that's a fish though. That's a fish. <laughs> oh, and he came off. He came off. That's okay. He was tiny. He was only like this big. Come on, little baby. Where's your big brother? Should have sent your big brother first. And shame on you, big brother, for sending your little, little brother out. It's not very nice. Wow. bit of a breeze up here huh we got on is uh just the bullet lure here Let's see i saw one fish surface already so that's a really really good sign first cast in this beautiful beautiful lake here Oh, we had a bite! Oh, oh, we had a bite. A trout slammed the bullet lure, guys. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish on, baby. Oh, is he still there? Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Little guy. Little guy. All right, we're going to we're going to boat flip this guy. Come on, baby. <laughs> All right. Jeez, look at that. Finally. It only took us about 2 days to catch this Goliath of a rainbow trout. He's actually really pretty. Oh, he was triple hooked. Hooked all the way. There's no way he was getting away. Yeah, he's a little tiny rainbow. Uh, <laughs> now, I hate doing this. I'm usually not a baby eater. But we're going to eat this guy. <laughs> we're going to eat him. I'm just hungry, man. Like, I, I just need some food. Check it out, though. On the bullet lure, baby. On the bullet lure. So, he took it on a bit of a quicker retrieve. So, he, they, they seem to not like it too slow. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, little dude. Calm down. Don't worry. We're, it's almost over. There we go. He's a, it's a bonker and a D hooker at the same time. That's, that's crazy. How did all three of those hooks pop out? 
Hey, look at that guys. No longer using the uh, the pliers as my bonker. Instead, I made us a nice little bamboo, a bamboo bonker. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. So, and I've got also a, uh, an eight inch measurement on there so that we could measure trout in creeks and uh, rivers because that's the minimum size in a lot of places here in Washington. But in most lakes, including this one, there's no minimum size, so we're all good. But just for shits and giggles, he's about eight and a half inches. So he'd be a keeper no matter what. There you go, little guy. Thank you so much for biting, dude. Man, that's like, honestly so thankful to finally catch something. It's always hard when you're out here and you're fishing for days trying to catch food and it's just, it's not working, especially when you see some fish. But uh, man, it finally, finally happened. Not on the bobber though this time, that's crazy. On the bullet lure. It's been a while since we got one on the bullet lure. All right, so that trout seemed to uh, like a quicker retrieve. So that's what we're going to do this time too. Just going to let it sink a little bit and then retrieve nice and quick. And what I like to do is just give it little, little jerks too. It just gives it the, the um, presentation a little more action. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, he's really, really small. Oh man, he's tiny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to save you, dude. I'm trying to save you. All right, let's see how he does in the net there. There he goes. There he goes. Nothing like pierced his gills or anything, so I, I felt good about releasing him. He was really small. Uh, two fish, that, that's okay. We won't be greedy. We won't be greedy at all. I'm, I'm pretty feeling really good about that. So let's go ahead, get back to camp, and cook these babies up with those crawdads. All right, we're back at camp. It's time to cook up our catch now. We've got a big old bag of crawdads. I mean, look at this, some of those monsters that we have here. That's a good looking crawdad, I have to say. This is this is a nice one. Oh, whoa, whoa, he's flicking around. But we are going to make this crawfish boil a little more interesting. For that, we're going to cut off just a little, really just a little tiny bit of butter. Then we've just got one uh, yellow onion. Then we got a little bit of green onion here. Don't need a whole lot. And most importantly, a bag of Danish sea salt. We're not gonna put in the whole bag, just a little bit. It's a fresh bag though. Oh yeah, we're gonna be pretty generous with this. We're gonna... Uh... Yeah, heck something like that. All right, just a little brown on the bottom there. That's perfect, not burnt. Now we're just gonna scoop up some water. All right, we're gonna close that. We're gonna wanna make sure that this is at like a rolling boil. All right, time to find some volunteers. Ooh, that was a bad idea, bad idea. A lot of crawdads. Okay, bad idea, bad, idea. oh, Jesus, no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. That was a really close call, bad idea. Never dump out your crawdads, ever. Now this may seem inhumane to put them in alive, uh, but this is actually the quickest way to dispatch them. So here we go, buddy. There he is, and, he, and he's done already. He's already done, turning red. Wow, that color change happened fast. Hey, this guy's trying to escape in the pot with you. See, it just, it instantly takes them out. So I've never actually tried crawdads in my life. So I'm super, super excited right now. This is like a special moment. All right, time to clean our fish. <laughs> Not a giant. Just poke in right by the butthole and scoot it all the way forward. Make sure that you rinse it right away. With a trout like this, with a little one, 
take that head right off. Pull on that. Look at that, all the guts come out right with it. Set it out for the crawdads. And that in the back there, that's the kidney. I'm just gonna score that. And then you just push it out with your, your fingernail, boom. And here you go, a nice clean trout. Got a little mushroom here. We got some more onion. And then what we'll just do is use up the rest of this green onion here. Mushrooms and onions just have a super magical combination going on. I don't know what it is, but something, there's magic going on in there right now. Now we're gonna add a little bit more of that Danish sea salt. Voila le fisk. Here we go, baby. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, he's happy in there. I don't know what it is, guys, but trout never gets old. Oh man, come on, baby. And that right there, that's how you know a trout is done when literally the meat just falls right off the bones. All right, we haven't forgotten about the green onions yet. These guys are going in now. There's a little more delicate. I didn't want to overcook those guys. It's probably gonna be a little buttery. Hopefully no hot butter gets on me. All right, now we got the old uh, cheese trick up our sleeve. Ooh, spilled a little there. And then we put on the tortilla. One thing I've been like really curious to try here too is this broth that we've got. Oh man, that's such a good soup. That itself would be a freaking meal. That, <laughs> that's so good. So this is what we're gonna throw all of our trout, mushrooms and caramelized onion into. You know, I was gonna throw some sauce on there, but honestly, like, I, I don't think that we need any sauce for this. All right, there's no turning around now. Here we go. Mmm. So many things happening in my mouth right now. The caramelized onion is just punching me in the face. The mushroom has like a an earthy undertone. Trout, very subtle, very subtle. There's the cheese. Mmm. I found the green onion. Let's get this big old big daddy. Uh, let's go ahead and try a claw. I mean, this is just like a big crab claw, honestly. Look at how much meat is in there. Mm. Wow, that's solid. Oh! I dropped the other claw. Arr, I hate it when that happens. You twist the tails off. Man, it's too bad. Like, let me know in the comments. Like, wh what do you do with the heads? Can you, like, eat these? Or do you just kind of boil them? I heard some people suck on them. Should I suck... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I need to do that again. Man, those claws have more meat in them than the tail. I mean, that's the tail right there. Claws had more. Mm. Also, 100K, baby. We did it. Thanks to all of you guys. Thank you so much for all your love, support, your kind comments. Um, we, we made it. I never would have believed that we would actually be at 100,000 subscribers this is like becoming my full-time job now. I'm like living this weird, surreal dream that I didn't think could exist. So thank you is all I can say. To celebrate 100,000, I thought I would just come out here to a beautiful place like this where we can experience some new things together, like me eating crawdads for the first time and fishing these lakes for the first time. It's what life's all about, guys, just having great experiences. And thank you so much for watching all the way from beginning to end. It's the biggest compliment you guys can give me. That being said, we will see you guys next week for the next fishing adventure. Till then, you all know it. Fish on, baby. Oh, there's another crawdad in here. Cool.